What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's IP for your kids IRL here. And what I have for you today is we're going to be doing the Black Crow Raid and I'm going to be breaking it down how best to do it and everything about it. Well, the rewards are going to be and a couple of the different things that we're going to be doing today with the Black Crow Raid. So I have a little bit of an experiment to do in the video. So basically what we're going to be doing is comparing doing this with one troop versus several. So what we're going to do for the first part of this is run this with just one troop and then the second part we're going to run it with three and see if we get any of the different points, see how it all contributes and breaks down. So right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to be running around with just Caesar. Um, he was the first one here so we're just going to run around with Caesar only, how many points we're going to get. We're also going to break down how this impacts the trade route event. So as y'all know, if we go over here to the time limit and go over to here, then we go over to the trade route. Per every uh, um, Black Crow Mercenary eliminated, you get two or 10. We're gonna see how much we get after just one run with just one person, and then we're gonna compare it to how much we get per two, or running several teams, for instance, if that makes an impact. So, two different things we're gonna explore here, and um, so yeah, should be a little bit fun. Basically, what I'm gonna do around here is just run through, basically, um, several different, um, couple different tasks. Basically, I'll be skipping through the video and whatnot. And so, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, not too much really to do. What you're going to be doing here is these events pop up around the map. Um, they occur every, um, Monday through Saturday at, I believe it's 10. I know the first one's 18 higher than 12. 12 um 12 utc time so all of it's based on utc time and the rewards you get right here are just um you get supply boxes skill chest gems and then for every hundred after that you just get a crow supply box so we'll break it down what all rewards we get at the end how many people is necessary to really do this and if you get any more rewards based on how many teams that you're using in it so we'll run through all that little bit of an experiment ongoing so stay tuned and i'll show you how it turns out All right, guys, so we are back. We just finished up the break. You probably saw it all the way sped through. So what we're looking at, right, is I did all of the troops with Caesar, and I actually hit one with Leonidas by accident. But we did all the troops with Caesar. Um, we ended up with getting 256 points. 256 points that was using only one person doing the whole event for that entire eight minutes right there. Now, let's go over to the trade event, and let's look and see how many we got. We got seven we completed it seven times, seven times. So what we're going to do going into this one is we're going to use all three troops. We're going to use um, Leonidas, Caesar, and um, who's my other guy? Oh, Richard. We're going to use Leonidas, Richard, and Caesar. We're going to see if it makes a difference on the points, and we're going to see if it different makes a difference on the trade route event. So we should see, um, so we completed it seven times, for instance. So if we do, um, I'll go ahead and claim these. That way we have a fresh look, um, fresh. So if we get, I'm thinking we'll probably get, cause I, it'll be tough to kind of micromanage all of them. Um, I will. So yeah, um, if we get anything a little bit more, um, we know it was definitely worthwhile just based off of that one test. If we get something like double, you know, closer to around 14, I'm thinking maybe we'll get close to 20, 18 to, I think it'll be close to around 16 to 21 um if we do it right so we'll speed through and um so yeah we showed the results here soon i'll basically just doing the same thing i'll speed up the video so that way you're watching me do it all around and um so yeah we'll run right through it
All right, folks, as y'all saw, we just wrapped up the event. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out the rewards that we got from the regular Black Crow raid. And then the uh, the rewards that we got from the time from um the so the first thing up, let's go ahead and check the trade route event real quick. So we completed it 19 times, 19 times, guys. That was with Caesar dying halfway through. So if you're looking to grind a buttload of black crow mercenaries for your trade event you need multiple teams running for this i mean i just saw we got seven with just caesar at the start it might have been a little bit better if i was using leonidas or peter right just for kill time but i think it's safe to say you get a lot more for your money if you're using multiple teams there for the black crow mercenaries so a 78 right there huge amount right there as y'all can see it's just numerous Let's look at this right here so we ended up getting um only 392 it looks like it started to slow down um we actually didn't get that many points so really if you're looking at doing this it's not about how many teams that you use to do the black crow raid it's really only worth it to only send one team over here and work on that one team but if you're going for the trade event 100% bring pretty much every team there and just start claiming them, right? If you got an area to yourself that you don't see anyone else going to, right? Because you saw me, I was basically over there fighting with everyone to get them. But if you have an area to yourself, send all five teams and just start running running around taking all of them. So verdict is basically the, um, it doesn't really matter too much about the points. If you're just there for the points, just send one team. But if you're doing the trade route of it, make sure you take all of, make sure you take all of your teams, right if you want to get the most out of that rewards basically pretty simple a couple coins not really worth the coins really aren't worth it you get a couple shards um grant you know those resources are kind of negligible to what i'm getting right now um the shards are really the only thing that's kind of worthwhile for just the basic black crow boxes um i will say i do think the main reason why we're gonna be doing this is the trade route event let's take a look at some of the other ones we got a skill chest right here so we got a couple more shards which a couple more shards don't really mean much. So the main reason why you'd want to use so many teams like this is number one, um, is to farm the trade route event. That's mainly what you're gonna be using this for to the mid game. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the Black Crow raid event. That's how you work it. That's the best way to break it down. So thank you so much for following along, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.